Hello, welcome to Intermedia Corporate Finance, uh, week 11 portion of my lecture. I mean, it's already week 11. Can you believe it? Ah, ah time flies like a bullet, okay? Um, so, because I know that time flies like a bullet, I have to start my timer and it's going to bark at 14th minute and I'm going to stop there. Every 15 minutes I'll try, okay? You know I'm a talkative guy, so... Uh, I'm trying hard to make it in time, okay? Uh, last week, it was rather successful, but um, um, so let's see. Um, okay, this time, this is uh, uh, FCFF. We are trying to value a company using free cash flow to firm method. Last week, what was that? That was we, uh, the uh, FCFE and dividend discount model, okay? Uh, so let's go, right? Um, some of you may question, okay? Uh, last uh, lecture, okay? Comparing Apple and Samsung and LG Electronics, perhaps uh, in terms of ROE, is it okay to do in such a simple way? There must be some difference in accounting regulation between the countries. I mean, uh, some of you may question the net income, okay? Those accounting rules may differ so that some detailed items may be assigned as uh, non-operating uh, income and uh, extraordinary uh, income, kind of different classification, and then all these kind of things, right? Accounting regulation may make some detailed small differences is it still okay to ignore completely and then just uh, compute the ROE in a standardized way like this and compare different com companies from different countries I, I say yes it's okay no problem this is not accounting class right I told you um, <clears throat> we are just trying to have some big picture idea about these companies no problem okay Getting hung up on that, onto that detail uh, makes us lose interest in looking, uh, in looking at the big picture. Okay? Whereas looking at this big picture gives you some clearer idea. Once you visualize it, and you will have much better idea about where the company is going, okay? where the company has been. Right? Um, right. I have to shut up my mouth anyway. So, uh, measuring cash flows, right? Measuring cash flows. Mm, we have roughly two different ways I told you before. Just uh, measuring the cash flow for to just equity investors and uh, cash flow to both equity holders and debt holders, right? Um, two different kinds of cash flows. Last week, spent we spent a whole amount of time studying the... Uh, uh, the cash flow measurement focused on equity holders, dividend discount model, and free cash flow to equity, right? Remember FCFE? We had about six different uh, formulas to get to FCFE, all different ways, but we mean the same thing. Starting from net income, we are trying to go to uh, free cash flow to equity. What do we have to take out? Those investments, uh, for example, CapEx, and change in working capital. And those investments, not 100% equity holders pay for it, but a part of it is paid by debt holders. So our idea was to figure out what will be the portion that equity holders will be responsible in the future, and then what, will the, what is the uh, debt holders portion. Once we have that clear idea, the, we just multiply those 1 minus alpha thing, right? Um, to focus on equity holders investment, okay? So that was FCFE. This week, we're going to study FCFF, free cash flow to firm, right? Remember, who, three different claimants of cash flows to your company's you know, company, right? The first cash flow claimant was government, right? Um, the biggest gangster or biggest mafia of the whole region is the government. It's a social contract, right? Or, um, so we pay the tax. 
so that you protect us with your army service and then the uh, police service, right? Please protect us so we're, we will be diligently paying tax to you. So first claimant tax payment goes off, right? The remaining part is for debt holders and equity holders, right? This week, we're going to focus on debt holders and equity holders at the same time. Um, so it's the cash flow available to both of these investors. So uh, how do we compute FCFF? The formula, we're going to touch on that in more detail in a later slide, but roughly this is it. We start from operating income after tax. Okay, operating income after tax. What the heck is that? Well, net income, right? If you think about the net income in FCFE, there we already paid tax. So we did not have to artificially subtract the tax out. It is already after tax, right? But here in FCFF, we are focused on operating cash flow, right? Day-to-day um, -day business, out of the day-to-day -day business, right? How much of a cash flow is available to debt holders and equity holders? Your regular day-to-day -day business, right, generates cash flow. Out of it, how much is it is the money available to debt holders and equity holders? But for that part, we have to think about our uh, the company's tax payment, okay, associated with this operating income. Okay, so that's why we first have to subtract the tax out, say bye-bye to the government. So Donald Trump will not have to, you know, get into you or Moon Jae-in Taekyung will not have to bother you. Okay, so say bye-bye to them by subtracting uh, tax. Okay, that's our starting base. We call it no pat, no p a t, no pat. What? Pat, 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 pat. No pat? No. That's a gag, right? Daddy gag. Oh, da, da, so, daddy joke. Um, no pat means net operating profit after tax. Make sense? Net operating profit after, after tax. I mean, EBIT, this is earnings before interest and tax, which is operating income. Okay? Our young of in Korean terminology, young of all right? By the way, young of this is, you know, EBIT, right? This is FAQ, frequently asked questions in, you know, your job search interviews, okay? Operating income, EBIT. Uh, some people ask EBITDA, da, EBITDA, uh, what is that? That was my, uh, that was the question I had in, in my Goldman Sachs interview, EBIT. D A da right E B da what is E B da right I'm gonna get back to that later um, E B earnings before interest and tax operating income why do we care so much about it because it is the profit coming from our regular day to day business not extraordinary or non operating one shot kind of things or just irregular things but this one tells us about the regular income okay coming from your original business so that's why it is very important very very important and net operating tax operating tax after ta uh, profit after tax uh once we say bye bye to the government right and then um first to finish fcff okay uh starting from this no pet okay what do we do intuitively you just have to subtract all the investment, all of the investment that you have to do. What kind of investment? Long-term investment and short-term investment. Long-term investment has to be what? Some of you may already have this idea. Long-term investment. To support your long-term sales, what do you do? NCE, net capital expenditure, which is capital expenditure minus depreciation, right? That's this guy. That's N C E. Of course, over here the capital expenditures. It's about acquiring the factories, right? Also, if you have acquisitions, M and A, so you took over a certain company, you chop like a right? 
uh, months, 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 months. Okay? Then those amounts you spent on acquisition has to be included into capital expenditure. Right? Make sense? On the other hand, if you sold off your equipment or part of your division and say bye bye, okay, sold off, we call it spin off or whatever, or sell off to other companies, right? Then it is reverse investment or divestiture. We call it divestiture. That's negative capex. Cash gets into your pocket, right? So those adjustments has to be there. Depreciation and amortization right we subtract it out from your capital expenditure why do we do this because this is minus minus plus right essentially we are adding back the depreciation because this was your non-cash expense operating expense okay it used to be sitting at the cost of goods sold or sales general and administrative co uh, expenses right non-cash expense kamkasanga right so you have to take it back right um this is a negative capex kind of things you can think about it that way right so all in all this will be nce net capital expenditure long-term investment for your long-term sales right short-term sales support what is it Short-term investment, well, change in working capital, investing in your inv inventories, right? The stuff on the shelf, right? I told you about the Palisade, Hyundai Motors, Uyisan Hyung, right? All this Palisade, you should have expected the sales amount well enough so that you would not lose your customers. Palisade, people were so much into this SUV when Lee Sun Young or those management was so much into other things, so much was what? Susocha, who buys Susocha? Like, like hydrogen car, hydrogen bomb would be better maybe. Come on, okay? This is a time of electric car or SUV, either it's SUV or electric car. Who buys hydrogen car in the US or whatever, you are exporting so much to the US. You don't claim as domestic uh, car company. You claim as global car company, especially in the US and China. And there, the Tesla is the ruler. Come on, follow the ruler, man. Don't try to be, you know, don't, don't try to build up the whole equipment for hydrogen gas station or whatever. It's like too costly. 2 billion Korean won or 3 billion Korean won? 30억 won per station? Do you think America will build that kind of uh, hydrogen station? No! So to be realistic, those guys in the Hyundai Motors has, should have been focusing on this um, either SUV or electric car. They failed about this um, uh, the sales projection about Palisade, okay? So they did not have enough of inventory, not enough of shelf, uh, the stuff on the shelf, on the showroom, okay, in the dealer shop. That's about the inventory, right? But the inventory itself is a stock amount. What you need over here is a change or the flow amount, okay? And then the supporting items for inventory, which is accounts receivable, and accounts payable okay so ar plus inventory minus ap that should be working capital period by period you can uh, uh, the time point by time point you calculate those things and compute the change of it that will be your investment my dog is barking so i have to stop